And your agent, of course, is Stephen Barbara. Is that right? Yes. Is it Barbara or Barbara? I'm never sure. Yeah, Barbara. Barbara, just like the name. Gotcha. And did you, uh, have you had him since your first book? Or when was that somebody you met while you were an editor? Or did you submit the old-fashioned way with a query? How did you hook up with your agent? Um, I did not submit the old-fashioned way. It's like, I feel like my story about how I got my agent is annoying to people who don't work in the industry because it, it contains no useful nuggets of wisdom. Uh, but I working at Penguin, I was friends with um, the author Lauren Oliver, um, who obviously is a very successful YA and middle grade and, and now adult novelist as well. Uh, but at the time, she was an editorial assistant down the hall for me. Um, and um, Stephen was representing her. And incidentally, Lauren and Stephen and I all went to the same college. So um, Stephen and I were a few years apart. We hadn't overlapped there, um, but Lauren and he had. So when she was looking for um, like agent contacts, she went to him. Um, he signed her, and then I met him at a party that we were all at. And and I was like, "Oh, you're Lauren's agent." And I said, "I'm writing a book." And he said, "Oh, that sounds great. Send it to me when it's done." <laughs> so again, like, there's nothing actionable there. You can't. It's it's just annoying. You can't do that if you don't work in New York City publishing. Well, I think we've just come across a, a nice clear argument as to why uh, one might want to be in New York for at least a portion of one's uh, career. Yeah. <laughs> publishing. Uh, and did you say it like with a, um, you know, a detached, yes, I'm a literary agent. You know that about me now. So tell me about your book. Yes, send it to me. Can we please move on with the rest of the party? Or did you give him a full pitch right then and there? So, um, so this was 2009, and at the time, um, as I was working on the book, which became mostly Good Girls, its working title was Wayward Girls. Um, so, yeah, so I said to Stephen, I was like, oh, I'm writing a novel, and he said, very much with polite interest, um, he said, oh, that, you know, like, that's nice, what's it called? Um, and I said, it's called Wayward Girls. And he said, oh, like Winter Girls, which was a Laurie Halls Anderson YA novel that had recently come out. And that was phenomenally good, got like six starred reviews, um, just like super powerful about um, girls suffering from eating disorders. Like, I mean, like beyond good. So he said, so I said, Wayward Girls. And he said, oh, like Winter Girls. And I said, so much better than Winter Girls. <laughs> and he, Stephen is like very deadpan and like, and so, and he didn't know me. And so he looked at me and he said, really? And I was like, no, of course not. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, and he was like, okay, well, send it to me anyway. So <laughs> uh, that was our how we met story. 